2023 uh, election is fast approaching uh, and this headline which says uh, why bola ahmed healthy number was called a thief by northern elites hmm. okay i believe everybody said uh, and uh, hell you yeah, with, with lo- your listening ear mm, yes uh, let me even you know a uh, gadget up uh, to make sure i you know deliver this speech and uh, for you to understand it better first of all uh, let me uh apprise you that the objective and content enshrined in this piece represents my personal opinion or any other person's opinion but as it is uh, this is about the national leader of the all progressive congress uh, senator bola ahmed tinubu aka jagaban of uh, bogu <laughs> and of course i owe no one any apology or anybody uh, he's been on apology well in recent times uh, the media both uh, national and international have been uh, watched by the news of uh, ashiwaju bola ahmed after his uh, declaration to contest uh, the position of president of Nigeria in the 2023 uh, general elections, uh, while many saw his declaration as a good uh, omen for the nation, others saw it as a mere uh, dream and wish. Uh, uh, while uh, some of his foes have been either so castigating him for making his intention uh, known to the world, uh, I'm one of the many uh, who believe there's so much uh, in the sagacity and economic uh, prowess of uh, Ashiwaju Palamet Tinobu to take Nigeria to the greater height. Uh, but as it is, however, I'm very bold to say that none of the candidates uh, who had equally uh, shown interest in contesting the coming election with him as what it takes to move uh, the country forward like uh, him. None of them has a vast uh, political tactics to be compared with that of uh, Ashiwaju Bola Metinumbu. The undisputable uh, experience uh, gathered so far by the former legal state guy governor Ashiwaju Bola Metinumbu is uh, bigger than that of a prospective uh, opponent jostling for the highest uh, rank uh, seats in the political terrain in Nigeria. The uh, one thing that makes uh, me dove my heart uh, for Ashwaju Bola Metunubu is how he managed his many establishments. Uh, my investigation revealed that uh, all his employees are enjoying good power packages and good paychecks and they uh, never denied their uh, emul- uh, emoluments or definitely their salary and their gratuity or whichever and those are retired. Uh, this uh, indeed is uh, on pre- Sedented, uh, considering the phase of the Nigerian economy. I have uh, Eve drops uh, and also on some mongas uh, wrongly accusing Tinumbu as uh, for accumulating wealth uh, via yet not prove uh, corrupt means. But I do ask and challenge any of the critics to uh, pinpoint a politician that has uh, relied uh, solemnly on the, his salaries and wages while in public office. Why should Tinubu be nailed and labelled as a corrupt politician without any proof? Another good thing that made the uh, dossier of uh, Ashwaju unbeatable is his uh, knowledge of how to manage a crisis and human characters. Uh, well, I would say the Jagaban Bogu is highly strategic uh, when appeasing his foes. No wonder some northern elites uh, described as Shiwaju as a thief who had stolen their earth. Uh, the magnitude uh, benevolence earth of Jagaban was uh, revealed uh, during the dark period of the answers uh, crisis. Uh, despite a serious condemnation uh, method on him, he remained uh, unperturbed uh, and also handled the trial with a uh, great uh, caution and diplomacy. Uh, another factor that endeared uh, him to many and those made him uh, the unbeatable uh, candidate is his ability to breed uh, leaders. Can anybody or anyone tell me the politicians are the current uh, dispensations who have uh, produced uh, leaders on the same uh, volume uh, which Tinubu did. I challenge his uh, unrepentant uh, critics to come forward uh, with such uh, names. Uh, we all know that uh, the likes of Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaju, her retired Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller, uh, Minister of Works, uh, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, Mr. Uh, Minister for Interior, uh, Ogbeni Raif, uh, Raouf uh, Areguishola, uh, Dr. Kari Fayemi, uh, Senator Olamile Konyayi, uh, Mr. Akeumi Ambode, uh, Comrade Adams uh, Oshomole, uh, Prince Dakbo Abiodun, Honorable Mudashi, Obasa, Honorable Okbayemi Bami Dele, Mr. Adebayo Adelabu, Governor Isiaka Oyethola, 
and a lot of others uh, who are doing uh, wonderfully well in their various uh, capacity uh, just like uh, uh, governor from Wolu of a uh, legal state uh, and uh, also they have been doing well in their capacity in politics and also political sons and followers of Ethnobu are very uh, great people uh, then uh, those who had given uh, themselves unnecessary edicts uh, about the declaration of Ethnobu uh, uh, should ask themselves why he is still very relevant after many years uh, he left a uh, political office i want to ask them to tell me how many governors who governed uh, their states at the same time as him are still relevant and uh, like him today ashwa jubala metunumbu's agenda should be encouraged and uh, we should allow him to turn around nigeria as he did in Lagos state uh, god bless nigeria god bless uh, uh, everybody uh, well i would say uh, i need to you know take a, a breath hmm. <sighs> this is uh, uh, what it is i would say uh, he, there is going to be a comment uh, before you know i venture into a uh, comment session <laughs> let me let me let me let, let, uh, let me just uh, ponder a little uh, well from my own uh, perspective i would say all this uh, is just an ovation uh, to bola metinumbu and i believe uh, uh, yes he deserve uh, uh, an ovation and uh, he deserves an honor honorary award uh, for being in politics and still being relevant uh, but uh, i would say nobody's perfect really uh, yes yes uh, with all this uh, uh, appraiser, I would say the lucky answer uh, had uh, really, really made uh, some Nigerians, you know, eat a uh, Tinumbu. And uh, in the other word, I would say Tinumbu is just the only relevant uh, all progressive Congress member uh, because he's the national leader. And I believe uh, the APC, the all progressive Congress, is founded by Tinumbu, or let me say he's the national leader. As it is, and I believe that uh, the Yorubas uh, are supposed uh, to be number one as a pioneer you know a uh, founder they're supposed to be number one in those affairs or rather i would say most of the uh, positions have uh, been you know taken by the fulanis uh, like the main malabuni i would say he uh, is the kataka chairman mm. why would somebody be kataka chairman uh, planning committee i don't really really get it so but you know i really really a soldier is a yoruba people well i don't really really know what he's up to but as it is uh, if we're going to look at it directly or indirectly or physically we we'll know that uh, from the antecedents we we'll know that uh, the fulani have hijacked uh, apc from the yorubas in other words uh, maybe tenubu could have a, a bigger plan you know when he becomes a president uh, but as it is uh, so many nigerians especially the yoruba uh, entity will tell you there is not gonna be any election come 2023 so we already know what the biafras really stand for uh, they they don't really really you know just talk they don't just talk they they work and in hand uh, and also you know they will form a formidable force uh, even if uh, they are going to accept uh, nigeria uh, which in Africa has been calling a contrap uh, contraption i would say yes and uh, nigeria is still everybody's country mm. The Igbos, the Yorubas, the Alsas uh, believe it either directly or indirectly. You're still holding the Nigerian uh, passport, you're still holding Nigerian ID cards and all that, uh, uh, the driver's license uh, to the voter's card, uh, international, uh, whatever, whatever. Yes, uh, this is what I'm going to do because I would like you to share your views in the comment section. But in other words, I will tell you, uh, Tinumbu, uh, yes, he deserves appraisal. Uh, but as it is yes he that do good should continue and he uh, that do uh, evil should continue uh, on the judgment day uh, it's not until you go to heaven before judgment will come over you uh, definitely let's say like you know judgment will come yes uh, thanks for listening to independent tv 7